Hey, it's Joe and Lisa with Jolie Farms. Welcome back to the channel. We're here in Ecuador and it is a beautiful day. Gorgeous. We've had like, I don't know, three or four really nice days. Really nice days. Yeah, we were in Loja on Thursday. It was just a beautiful day. You'll see that video coming out mm -hmm. soon uh, next week. But we wanted to shoot this video out real quick, give you an earthquake update. Yeah. So we're all fine and dandy. Here where we are, we're, we're at the southern tip of Ecuador. We, we feel the rumbles, uh, you know, the shaking sometimes from earthquakes, but there's never been any damage here in the valley, not in the yeah. history of uh, Ecuador. No, and most of our earthquakes come out of um, Peru. So all we're getting is just little rumblings and they don't last very long. They just come and go. So we were in town uh, eating yesterday at mm -hmm. about um, 1245, whenever the earthquake happened. Yeah. And so uh, it came to us a little rumble, 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 rumble. And I went, huh? And I told the people inside the restaurant, I said, earthquake. Yeah. You know? And so everybody kind of grinning and smiling. And then about 10 seconds later, a big one came. Yeah. And our car was kind of shaking out on the street a little bit. Yeah. People running out of the buildings, of course, you know, they get really excited about it here. Because yeah. it is dangerous in certain parts of the country. It is. They, but they do build um, the houses. Usually they're steel and cement. And so they, they are pretty sturdy homes. Some houses here are, are seismic built. Mm -hmm. um, so yesterday's earthquake happened over at the coast, um, just north of the town of Machala, just uh, south of Guayaquil. That was the epicenter. And so some buildings in Cuenca were did crumble and fall. And you have to understand some of these buildings are very, very old in the El Centro yeah. portion, the central old historic district. Mm -hmm. And some of them are uh, what we call tapia, which is rammed earth built. And um, so it wouldn't take much to bring some of those buildings down. Yeah. Um, there was another earthquake in northern Ecuador. Um, all I know about this is the one in the south. It was about a 6.7 to 7.0, somewhere in there. Buried reports on that. Um, we understand there were probably at least a dozen lives lost. Yeah. So from buildings falling. Yeah, and then, like we said here, we didn't even really have big rocks on the road. I mean, there was some little rocks, but that could have been from the rain. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot happened here in Vilca. Yeah, we had some friends who were traveling over from Cuenca, going to the Cajas National Park. Mm -hmm. They said on the way over, you know, before the earthquake really nothing on the road. On the way back, a lot of little rocks. So um, they didn't even realize there was an earthquake, I think, until we told them. Yeah, we've been driving when they, there's been an earthquake. And in the car, you don't really notice it because they're not, they're not really big here. But um, you'll notice people running out of their homes and the you know wires jiggling around. And so then you know kind of what happened. But for the most part, um, yeah, you don't, we don't get really bad ones here. There's actually earthquakes every day in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, in Texas, there's pretty much one every day. I did look that up before we moved here. <laughs> yeah, so people in Texas don't realize it, but there's earthquakes almost every day in Texas. They're just much smaller. All over the U.S., there, there's a lot of them. Um, yeah. it's, it's surprising when you actually start looking it up. Yeah, if you start reaching earthquakes, uh, researching earthquakes, you'll... You'll, you'll learn a lot about it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, here in, in uh, the valley here, the Valley of Longevity, as we call it, um, Mondongo, the mountain, is supposed to be the sacred power that keeps the valley safe from earthquakes. That's the legend anyway. Uh, but, you know, um, just because it's never happened doesn't mean it won't. True. Uh, but there's never been one here that's caused any damage or had any problem. It's most of it's usually out on the coast. And, you know, 15 years ago, they had a really bad one on the coast. Uh, lives lost, a lot of property damage, mm -hmm. a lot of power and sewer outages and things. And well, when we, when we got here, we had heard about one prior to us moving here. And we looked at some homes that had some, some uh, cracks and damage Some damage, to them. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, we have no damage. We're all fine. I mean, I never stopped eating yesterday. I just... Yeah. We're, we're kind of used to it happening. We've had them wake us up in the middle of the night. Usually it's the dog first, then the quake. Yeah, the dogs predict them. They're about 10 minutes ahead of the quake. Yeah. 
the dogs will start acting funny and then whining and barking. Yeah. And then here comes the quake. Yeah. Um, and that happened here yesterday. Georgia was here alone with the dogs. And she said the dogs started going crazy. And next thing she knows, she was kind of thrown against the counter a little bit <laughs> yeah. in the earthquake. So um, that's how she knew what was going on with the dogs. Yeah. So, yeah, everything's just fine here and we're all good. Thank you for the emails and the, and the you know, messages we've been receiving um, asking about us. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We are all good and uh, life goes on in Ecuador. God bless. Hope you'll tune in again next time. Ciao.